All right, we're up to wild card weekend. Here we go. And and I have to say, this this table turned out looking pretty darn good when it comes to football. Um, I had some concerns about the NFC East. You know what? The Eagles pulled it together those last three weeks. We can debate about the quality of opposition and how they, they fell behind in order to end up needing to come back and win a few in a row. But they did it. So they have home field this week, and we'll see whether or not they can continue to do it. But on Saturday, we're going to have the Buffalo Bills, who are 10-6, and six, in against the 10-6 and six Houston uh, Texans. Now, I a lot of people betting on the Bills. And if the Bills' defense comes through, they can absolutely go in and they can beat Houston. And I think what a lot of it is, uh, I think there would likely be some concern that if Buffalo loses this week, people can look at this and go, well, it was a nice story, but it was kind of a fluke. It is kind of a fluke. So they as the number five seeds would be out, and then we could talk about, well, they're not going to do it again next year, and everybody will pick them to go seven and nine or six and ten next year, because that's that's what would probably happen, at least in terms of the predictions. I'm not predicting that right here, right here, right now, because it's way too early to predict next season. But this weekend, I, I like Houston, and I, I'm sorry. For me, if if I'm picking between these two teams, I'm I'm likely going with Houston. I I just think they have a better chance. And that being said, this is the one I most want to be wrong about. I would love to see Buffalo go further because it's a good story. And the Buffalo Bills might be the most hard luck franchise. I'm sorry, Cleveland, but I think Buffalo is the most hard luck franchise because we still remember all those Super Bowls. I still remember all those Super Bowls anyways when they would get there and then just it didn't work. There was one where they got close, but the field goes wide and yeah, well, we know how that turned out. So hopefully I'm wrong on this one, but I, I do like Houston at home. Just like I like New England at home. So there are a lot of people picking Tennessee. Tennessee at 9-7 and seven comes in uh, against New England, and it, that's a pretty good matchup for Tennessee. And New England, even though they're 12-4, and four, it does look like things are falling apart. Uh, losing to Miami will do that. Remember, remember when we were looking at the, the season and going, well, they can get to 16. You know, look, they end the season against Miami. Whoops. Uh I you know, I don't know. They they didn't they didn't get a bye week. So New England, who may already be fighting it a little bit, uh, in terms of the aging process and all that other wonderful stuff, and rumors that Brady this might be his last year in New England, this could be the passing of the torch, in that this could be the end of a dynasty. But I've seen this story before. I remember last year. Uh, being told a couple of times, New England won't win this week. And then, surprise, they win the Super Bowl again. A again. So I, I can't bet against them. Uh, so those are your two Saturday games. I'm taking the home teams because it's mostly boring. Uh, <laughs> I, I tend to be. Now, Sunday, you know what? I'm going to go with an upset on this one. Because Minnesota's come through when they weren't expected to a few times this year. New Orleans at 13-3. and three. It's been a fantastic story. I'll take Minnesota because I I just I get this feeling that we're due for at least one upset in Wild Card Week, and why not Minnesota? Minnesota for ten and six. Uh, nobody's talked about them all year. Not really. Not in the good way, anyways. There was lots of talk about Kirk Cousins in the negative early on in the season, and then when things turned around, well, they're overshadowed by Green Bay. So it would be interesting to see, you know, if they did win and then they would go on and play San Francisco next week as the number six seed, that would be automatic. They play San Francisco. It'd be an interesting matchup right there. And it's, I'm not saying this is any kind of diss against New Orleans. Uh, New Orleans could absolutely come out and beat them 40 to 10. And we're coming back next week and saying, all right, so I got that completely wrong. But there has to be an upset. And I, I this one's going to be close. I, I don't think Tennessee, New England's going to be close. It's a playoff game and it's Tom Brady. I have a funny feeling that Brady throws three touchdowns and comes out of this game looking like he's ready to win another one. Uh, so this is my upset special. Now, Philadelphia and Seattle, that's where it gets tricky. Seattle, not a great way that they get into the playoffs. They are 11-5, and five, but are they one of the best teams in football right now or did they peak too soon? It kind of feels like they peaked with that win at San Francisco. That that was their that was their peak and since then I don't know. Uh so Philadelphia who comes into the playoffs 
with no expectations, a former uh, Super Bowl champion themselves. Could they knock off the the Seahawks in the, in the this game on Sunday? And it's the last game of the weekend. This is this is a tough one. It wouldn't have been two weeks ago. Two weeks ago, if you'd asked me, well, who'd win a win a playoff game between Seattle and and Philadelphia? I would have said Seattle. But right now, with how these teams got into the playoffs, I'm still going to go with Seattle. That 11 and five record is just too alluring for me. But Philadelphia could absolutely defeat the Seattle Seahawks this weekend. So I'm taking two road teams on Sunday and two home teams on Saturday. And then from there, we'll see if Baltimore can live up to their number one seed and if San Francisco can do the same. So weeks off for Baltimore, Kansas City, San Francisco, and Green Bay. And there are some excellent records in football this year. Look, 13-3, and 12-4, and 14-2, 12-4, 13-3, 13-3. <laughs> some very good teams. And now we get to start whittling them down and figure out who the best are. So there you go. Let me know who you guys think are, are going to win this weekend. Because again, at this point, it's a one-off. Hunches sometimes are just as good as anything else. And again, this one, should New Orleans win it? Yeah, probably. I just, there has to be an upset somewhere, you would think. Uh, we won't see very many upsets next week because these four home teams are really pretty good and they're going to be rested. But this week, we, we should see some really close football. So let me know your winners. Let me know your thoughts. Hit like and subscribe if you're browsing your way through. You just happened upon this video. And hey, thank you guys so much for watching, for all your support. I will talk to you again soon.